All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, it's Benny. And welcome back. Um, yeah, welcome back. Like I said, let's get into it. We're gonna be replacing. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be installing the oil catch can and then I'm also gonna be in uh, oil catch can. And I'm also gonna be run running the oil feed line to the turbo. Um, and then I also got the other wastegate, which I'm gonna be installing as well. I'm just gonna put it up, mock it up, not really, because I need to get, I need to see how I'm gonna run the piping. Um, but other than that, I think that's what, all what we're gonna be doing today. Just run a couple lines, a little catch can, just putting on the other wastegate to see where it's gonna, how it's gonna pan out, basically. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. It's on now. Oh. <laughs> I like, I like this. What? Muy poquito. <laughs> it's good. second I thought I so I had bought so for the oil feed it's this one I think and then I was trying to put this one in it wasn't fitting I was for a moment I was scared I had this other one but this one is for I think in there so I don't know I'll see right now hopefully I bought the right stuff I've been f fucking up lately alright let's check it out All right, so I got the feed line in from the pressure switch. It's right, hold on. Damn it, focus. It's right there from the um, oil pressure switch. It's right above the, the oil filter. Just ran it through here, right through here into the feed. Now, I, I think you can, you can rotate this around, I think. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can Rotate this so it's up. If not, I'm gonna leave it like that and just have the oil return from right here go down straight down to the oil pan, which I'm about to take off and I'll drill. Originally, I was gonna do a oil sandwich plate where I was gonna run from the oil, get the feed from the oil, and then the return back to the sandwich plate. But you can't do that due to the fact that the I guess the oil uh, sandwich plate gets pressurized, so it's like it can't go back into the thing. It can't go back into the filter, so then, yeah, you just be getting a feed from both ways. So then, uh, I just doing it the basic way, the regular way, I guess you, you can say. But, yeah, so now let's go on to install the, the um, catch can. Now, I don't know where I'm going to place this or where I'm going to mount it. I have, like, no idea. I know where I'm going to run the lines. I'm going to run them from the head. From right here. And that one over there. Run them, but I don't know to where yet. Uh, I was thinking of maybe placing it, like, right here or something. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this. I have to think sometimes you can relocate that to the back some people put it against the far wall right there um, but I don't know I might have to figure it out right now all right so I found the spot to where I want to put the catch can and put it right over there all right there it is it's mounted right here uh, amazing not bad and then I'm gonna run the lines from here to right there and right there and right over there all right so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting this fitting uh, right here this fitting right here uh, now I got to 
I have to tap this one and I'm tapping it while it's on the it's still attached so it is uh, making a um, shavings metal shavings that can get into the engine fuck everything up but what I did got some grease put it on here and it catches those shavings acts like a little glue take it out every once in a while wipe it down wipe the hole down check to see if your fitting is good enough so that's why you don't have to keep going that's what I'm gonna do right now Let's see if it's good enough to get in there now All right, so I got it on there. Uh, I could bring it more down, but I'm gonna see right now. I'm kind of sketched out. So there is no nothing. I got all, as you can see, let me zoom out a little. As you can see, there's quite a bit of shavings in here. I mean, like that's all from the grease. You can kind of see it, but it's all from the grease. You know, here's more like how to use this bigger one eventually but you just add some grease in there just do know if you do this it's at your own risk uh, you can also look into the little hole because it kind of just stops right there you could look in there and see what there is stick your little pinky finger in there and scoop around see what you can grab um, for me it was clear nothing so we're good so yeah I got everything on as far as the catch can the oil feed, now I need to do the drain. Um, what else was left? The waste gate, I'm putting on the waste gate right now. Um, got a couple more other stuff to install. That'll be little stuff here and there like injectors, fuel pump, um, what else? Some other stuff, I don't, I don't know, I have to figure out. And then I also gotta, yeah, do my wheels, but gotta get the bolts for that stuff, so. Yeah. Alright you guys, uh, well that's it for that. Uh, stayed this far in the video, thank you for watching. And also I have my own clothing company, it's Meister Co right here. Uh, I dropped some shirts uh, I'll put the link in the website I'll put the link down below of the website go ahead and use the code right here to get 10% off your order but anyways other than that thank you guys for watching peace out see you in the next one